r slash am I wrong? Illustrian Uscafee 232 says. Am I wrong to want to leave wife? Me and my wife got a house with about an $800 a month payment plus other bills. I work making $17 an hour. She had covered and has all these health problems from it and has been trying to get on disability for two years. In November she has her court hearing to be told if she gets it or not. When we went for the house she told me we cold and pointless spend and had to use all the money made for bills, gas, and food. No eating out or anything cause money would be tight. A couple of months ago all the money was gone in our account. She always gets onto me about what I spend and I have to kinda ask if it's okay to do so. Well this time I was wondering what happened cause I hadn't spent any wild purchases so I got a bank statement. Turns out I had spent 51 bucks to her 384. So I went home and called her out for it like she would me. Since that happened we have been a sinking ship. I got paid Thursday, but by Friday that check was gone with bills and oil change, and she admitted she didn't know how we was making it to next month. That put us into selling her jewelry, and I had to sell my Switch and games. Just to put a band-aid on till she gets disability, if she even gets it. I just feel. I worked a hard to be losing everything, because she cold and control her spending habits. To make it worse she doesn't seem to care I sold the one thing that was mine, and I enjoyed with friends and family. All she said was I'm sorry over text and that was it. Her sister has offered me a number of times to stay on her couch because of how the wife is with the money and controlling. Like my wife micro manages when I run errands for her or her sister or anything for that matter. I can't really leave her side and hang with my friends unless I have her okay. She doesn't really have friends, and makes me feel bad for it sometimes. She gets jealous of her sister, and thinks I want her sister, but her sees is B, and I'm not her type. I'm just her friend and the one, to help her out with whatever she needs. The wife tells me to, but then gets mad if I do. The wife also has bad hygiene. She showers the bare minimum and everything. She has a smell most the time to where I don't want to snuggle up or more with her. Me and her sister have talked to her about it but nothing really changed. I just want to be done, but I don't think I can, when my name is on the loan and everything for the house plus we have two kids. I just feel. Lover Medicines underscore 65 says. Contact a lawyer and get separate accounts. You are in between a rock and a hard place, as long as you are with her. Things will only get worse. Move on. Superb underscore caterpillar 23 says. You lost me at hygiene. Get a divorce. She may eventually get a big settlement from SSN, but they drag it out for years sometimes, and if her spending habits are crap the money will be gone in a blink anyway. I love cut 17 says. Cut off her access to the money. Go shopping for food with her. If she wants something else, she has to ask you for it. Oc Responsibility 7475 says. Right. She can't function. Confuser.63 says. You are your wife's child who supports her, and you deserve better. If it were me, I would open a different bank account, and not give her access. I would take over the money management for there on out. The only other solution is to get out of this relationship and find someone that respects you as an equal. Blue Roses 1013 says. Your wife is controlling you, gaslighting you and is emotionally and financially abusive. This is not a healthy relationship. Do not raise your kids this way. Yes, you feel stuck, but you're not. You're already supporting your family, including her. This means you can do it without her. Open a new account without her name on it, then file for divorce and custody. Make her move out. She can't afford the mortgage, but apparently you can. She can stay somewhere else until her disability kicks in, and you won't have to uproot the kids. Infamous Let 4387 says. 
You're not wrong, but I'm curious as to what she spent $384 on. Fun stuff, bills, both. What Toya Mada says. She sounds depressed. Sounds like she might be spending to cope to get the dopamine, just like any other drug. Such a little joiner says. Is your wife actually disabled, or is she trying to get on disability? Bankapprehensive2514 says. You're being abused. Your wife is consciously choosing to overspend. Your wife is the reason you had to sell your switch. Your wife knows she is the reason you have no money and doesn't care. She doesn't care you lost your switch, because you don't matter to her. This is financial and emotional abuse. She is cutting you off from your friends and isolating you. She is unnaturally jealous of her sister, and thinks you want to sleep with her. She thinks so little of you, that she doesn't trust you, to not to cheat. She makes you responsible for her emotions, like she's a child who can't regulate them. Let's reframe this as a BF and GF to make an easier understanding. You're the GF and your wife is the BF. My BF doesn't like it, when I hang out with my friends. He thinks I'll cheat with his brother. We have very little money, and he knows it, but he keeps on overspending, and doesn't care, when I have to sell my things to make ends meet. We have no money for next month and he doesn't care. The reframing example would have everyone tell the GF to run for the hills, because she's being abused. Take the money from the shared account, create an account at a new bank, and only let the money be out there. You can't deprive your wife of money for food or the house, if there is no money. Your wife wants you to magically come up with it, so she can take it. Go to the sister's house. Get a divorce. Dumbfounded03 says. So she spent the money on bills and an oil change? Man Burpick says. Are you looking for better paying jobs? If the vow you made to your wife is worth less than $17 then you have bigger problems. California Agile 1213 says. Just because your wife has a hearing in November, doesn't mean you will get the results right away. I had my hearing. And it took several weeks to get the results. They sent me a letter in the mail. It is very hard to get approved for disability. The only reason I was approved was because I have had three spine surgeries and I have my entire spine from C2T2 fused, an artificial knee and an artificial hip. I also take a ton of narcotic pain medication. I have a pump that put Delorded directly into my spinal canal on a constant drip. It's not easy to get approval, and sometimes there is a time limit on how long you can draw it. Jackson Love 3 says. Separate your bank account from the current one, open one that she has no access to, and then speak with an attorney on your options. The house can be sold, and you can split the proceeds, and go your separate ways. As far as the kids. File for full custody, if she can't properly care for them, or at least 50 over 50. If you do 50 over 50, you'll most likely pay her child support though. You're not stuck, you just feel like it. Take the steps necessary to unstick yourself, nothing will change until you do, good luck. Update us. Up that team. R slash am I wrong? Adriana Miller says. Am I wrong for not wanting to go to my husband's family reunion? Am I wrong for not wanting to go to my husband's family reunion? My husband and I have been married for 5 years, and he's always been close to his family. We attend all their get togethers, and I make an effort to get to know them. But I just don't feel like I fit in. My husband's family members have inside jokes that I don't understand, and they always seem to be talking about things that I can't relate to. I'm also not a big fan of their family dynamic, they can be sarcastic and sometimes even mean-spirited towards each other, and I'm always on edge at their get-togethers. Despite all this, my husband wants me to come to their family reunions, and I always end up going. He says it's... Important for me to be a part of his family, and I understand that he wants to share that with me. 
but I just end up feeling stressed and uncomfortable, and I'd rather not put myself through it every year. Recently, my husband's cousin announced that he's getting married, and he's invited us to a family reunion. I told my husband that I didn't want to go, and he got really upset with me. He said that I'm not making an effort to be a part of his family, and he feels like I'm rejecting them. Am I wrong for not wanting to go to my husband's family reunion? I love my husband, but being in his family is hard for me, and I don't know what to do. LH 123,456,789 says. You aren't wrong for not wanting to go, but your husband also isn't wrong for wanting you to go and be a part of his family. Ultimately, you are just going to have to compromise on the frequency and duration of visits. Fairmount1955 says. If you aren't comfortable, that's understandable. By not going, the trade-off is you will continue to not get inside jokes and things they talk about because you opted out of possibly sharing those experiences. Flaky underscore 21872 says. Have you asked your husband to explain the inside jokes do you can understand? The sarcasm can be just how they are, can be off-putting, until you see how the target responds, if they accept, and it doesn't blow up then that's their normal. You don't have to like it of course, because your values are different. But there's benefit to being more accepted into the family by frequent attendance, unless they attack you, and you reject the sarcasm, then I'd hope hubby defends you, by telling them that's not your dynamic. Best of luck. Breetome says. It's not a lot your husband is asking of you. A day to spend with his family. It's obviously very important to him. Sometimes we have to do things that make us uncomfortable, it's part of being an adult. You grin and bear it. I've been married for 40 years, and believe me my husband has gone to things he didn't want to for me, and I did the same for him. It's not that hard to sacrifice a day here and there for the sake of your husband and the sake of your marriage. It's key to support each other, even when you don't want to. It's not like he's asking you to move in with them, just to visit. Phil Independent says. My wife is very introverted. I don't take her to my family reunions because she wouldn't enjoy it. I would feel bad for her and not enjoy it myself. She actually likes the few days of privacy. My family understands. I think your husband should respect your wishes and enjoy the reunion on his own. Wait Wutok says. Not wrong. I quit going to my wife's family events because they were boring to me. She would get mad if I wanted to leave after 4 hours at a lame ass dinner party where she flitted around gossiping with her cousins. To her credit, she respected my choice of not going to future get togethers. Lily off the valley 2659 says. Does he stay with you during these reunions, explain things to you and include you? Or does he just take off and leave you to figure it out on your own? Briddy Arf Jibs says. Can you agree some rules with DH? Like, you're never alone without him, you have a code word for, when you're ready to leave, you get to go back to the hotel, and he stays on solo, you have to stay for 2 hours minimum, you have conversations with Mill, Bill, Bride etc. When they make the weird comments, can you ask, why would you say that? Oh, I don't get it. How is it funny? I'm poorly socialized. I always have a book with me, on my phone, along with games and reddit etc. I have no qualms about ducking out to the car, or a bedroom for some quiet time. I also routinely fall asleep, once the heavy drinking starts with my aisles, and they are just used to it by now. You're probably not as boorish as I'm but a little self-protection might help you feel more comfortable. Happy Go Lucky 123 says. Info how often are these get togethers, and have you ever felt anything negative towards you? Randabando for you says. You're not wrong, but he has to understand you. I don't really enjoying to my my girlfriend's friends they are also about mean spirited and just talk about drama that doesn't pertain me or that I'm interested in whatsoever. 
it's just not my thing. But I go for her, and I've learned to embrace the mean spirit and just give it right back to them, and it's been fun. Also there are times, where I don't want to go, and she understand why. It's a two way street, and he has to understand as well. Castiel Fangirl 2005 says. Itta. It's one goddamn day. Suck it up and go, it seems like you're an antisocial twat wiffle. Horse dog guy says. Your position is absolutely understandable. I hate going to things like that. But you're wrong. This is something that is important to your husband. Your going makes his life a little brighter. Isn't that important to you? And you're not going to events like this will distance you from his family, and that may be okay for you, but it makes his life a little less happy. Isn't that important to you? Sometimes we go to things for our partner. A movie we know will bore us, but that our partner wants to see. An event at our partner's workplace. A BBQ at the home of our partner's friends. Or a reunion. It's just a nice thing that we do, particularly nice if we don't make a big deal about how nice we are being, because we love our partner. The alternative is to be selfish. To treat what we want to do as being more important. The good and the bad news is that we get to pick which kind of partner we will be. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.